Isabella Wall is a successful, active Los Angeles businesswoman who has struggled with uterine fibroids most of her life. I've always had painful periods and even more pain in between periods. So pretty much my entire adult life I've been in pain. You know, I, I constantly have to take pain medication, whether it's over-the-counter or prescription. I'm constantly, constantly dealing with that, and I am so tired of it. Fibroids are very common in women. 40% uh, of women have fibroids, 40%. Four out of 10 women, that's a lot. Everyone's family has a hysterectomy. She is typical of uh, a large percentage of patients coming to our office. Uh, these fibroids can grow unbeknownst to the patient, and hers are quite sizable. I come from a large family, uh, mostly women. Eight women in my family have history, and their daughters also, by the way, my, all on my mother's side, uh, have history of fibroids. My mom had a 22-pound fibroid. Uh, large fibroids, even though a woman may not know they're there, can grow to the size of almost a term pregnancy. I've seen them that big. Now, just because they're benign doesn't mean that they don't cause symptoms. They do. They cause life-threatening symptoms, heavy bleeding, pain and pressure for a lot of the entire space of the uh, uterus. It's big, very big. Until recently, the most common treatments for these non-cancerous tumors or uterine fibroids, also called myomas, were myomectomy, major surgery to cut them out and sew the uterus back together again, or hysterectomy, removing the uterus completely. Of the almost three quarters of a million hysterectomies done in the United States every year, a third of those are done because of fibroids. Dr. Bruce McLucas is an OBGYN and an assistant professor of medicine at UCLA who has pioneered a new technique to cure uterine fibroids, a minimally invasive technique called uterine artery embolization. Uterine artery embolization is a major breakthrough, one of the most important of our century in the treatment of a very common problem, uterine fibroids for women. Uh, since the early 90s, uh, we brought that technique to the United States. We did the first embolization right here at UCLA and wrote the first papers in the United States about this technique. Instead of surgery, a small incision is made in the groin and a catheter guided into the uterine arteries. Tiny particles, no larger than grains of sand, are injected, blocking the blood supply to the fibroids. The fibroids begin to die immediately and continue to shrink for three to six months. We go in through a small incision when we do uterine artery embolization in the groin. It's about the size of an incision that you would have to draw your blood. Very small. Uh, we use uh, x-ray guidance to find the uterine arteries. We put in particles. These particles essentially block the blood flow and the fibroids without a blood supply shrink. Well, that's it. Got both arteries. Most Great. of the time it's a 20 minute procedure at the most. And you usually go home that same day. Isabella began researching the procedure after hearing about the successful outcome of a friend. And she did it and it's been about two years for her and she's so happy, so, so happy. I mean, I, I, she's the one that recommended me to Dr. McLucas. I did some research about it and I talked to Dr. McLucas, asked him questions. My hopes mostly are to not have any more pain or, God, I mean, if I could just reduce the pain by 25% even, it would be great. Uh, the first thing we'll find out is, is it really fibroids? A simple imaging test will confirm this at a physical exam. We discuss the risks and benefits of embolization versus a major surgery. Uh, and most of our patients are, were able to work very quickly to get that fibroid cured and back on the road to health. For our parents' generation, our grandparents' generation, hysterectomy, removal of the uterus, was just about the only form of therapy. Here we are in the 21st century, and fortunately we can offer women another alternative, a treatment that's minimally invasive, an outpatient procedure that cures their fibroids without the risks of major surgery. Dr. McLucas now teaches this minimally invasive technique to other doctors all over the world. So, Isabella, we're all done, hon. Okay, everything went great. 
I think for me, it was a really good choice to have the procedure. I felt really good almost immediately. It's a very simple procedure. Um, the incisions are about this big, and uh, I highly recommend it. Our success rate is 90%. Nine out of 10 women have a good result after embolization. This is Francesca with her dad. Uterine fibroids can also affect fertility. Studies show embolization can often improve chances of a successful pregnancy. Reads books already. The embolization is such a small price to pay in order to be able to have a healthy pregnancy, and I really had a great pregnancy. Um, there were really no complications at all. It offers enhanced fertility for many of our patients. Can't guarantee it for all, but for so many of our patients, Right now I'm looking after about a dozen women who've had embolization who are pregnant and just sailing through their pregnancy. It's very gratifying. Now that I am pregnant, I'm in my eighth month, I've had no, no fibroids come up. I'm free of fibroids, you could say, and the pregnancy has been outstanding. Throughout my career I've always been interested in minimally invasive techniques. Uh, that's ones that may be harder for the surgeon, but better for the patient. Uh, this may not be the end point. The end point may be some pill that's going to keep fibroids from growing at all. That would be wonderful. But for the 21st century, for the first half of the 21st century, embolization offers women an opportunity their mothers and grandmothers never had for a common disease. Oh, I love those little fingers, you know.